Welcome back to The Home Kit Life. I'm Josh, got my cameraman Braden with me, and today we're talking about the Abode security system, which is Apple HomeKit compatible. Let's go get it unboxed. So we got the hub, four motion sensors, key pen, key fob, three mini door sensors, two recessed door sensors. And let's go get that installed. Now that we've gotten that unboxed, we picked up a smart security kit, system kit from them that included the gateway and included some devices. Uh, we also like purchased it during Black Friday and uh, we got some extra stuff that we wanted, right? Like the keypad and extra motion sensors, we got some recessed door sensors. So what we're gonna do is go get all that stuff installed around the house, get the gateway hooked up, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about how everything works with HomeKit and let you know our thoughts on everything. Now that we have all that set up, I think it was pretty easy to install and you know, get everything added to the hub and to the abode ecosystem. You know, I, I definitely liked the recessed door installation. You know, we were able to just use like a, a wingtip bit and drill down and then, you know, it looks very, very clean and it was very simple to do. The other ones, you know, the door and window sensors that they have, those worked well. We had some uh, sliders that we wanted to add those to, so that that seemed to turn out pretty good for us. One of the other things I like is, uh, you know, we have the, the door and window sensor here, but when you open this, I don't know if you can hear that, but you get a beep beep, which is kind of nice. Uh, let me see if I can get a clip of that sound for you. One thing that I wanted to show off was the Abode app. So let's open that real quick. They have three modes here. They have like home, away, standby, and then you can choose like alarm or silent. So like standby is like turned off. Uh, and then home means that we're gonna be home and we might want different things to trigger or not trigger the alarm to be set off and then away you know we can go in and control each of these things so i can see my devices uh, and i can go in and say uh okay there's the master bedroom slider actually the keypad motion sensor let's check this one out not very intuitive i gotta swipe to see at it and so you can see here, we can rename it if we wanted to, and then we can choose. So in away mode, the sensor is inactive, and in home mode, the sensor is inactive. So it's totally bypassed. You can see it gives us a warning down there at the bottom that it's totally bypassed. But we could go in and say, oh, 
you know, motion active during entry delay or active immediately. Uh, so we can like choose the things that we do or don't want to be part of a particular uh, alarm setting. And then we can go like, let's go to the front door here. Actually the motion sensor. Cause I don't, so not intuitive to swipe to edit. So this is one we did change. So in away mode, the motion sensor is active, but in home mode, it's inactive, right? And so the nice thing is this particular setup, the home mode also, so when you add this thing to home kit, we can go here, it exposes this alarm that has home, away, and night. Night and home are actually the same thing. So when you activate either of those in home kit, that triggers the corresponding home mode in abode. So that was nice. That was one thing I was kind of curious about. Like you couldn't really do that with the, the other Akara security system that we had. It didn't really have any kind of night mode support. So I do like that. We still haven't turned it on. Uh, I'm not sure like our kids tend to get up first to get ready for school and let the dogs out. So I've just been trying to decide like how that night mode's gonna be set up. The other thing that we thought would be fun to play with is, you know, we can go in and create an automation. Let's do that real quick. Was it accessory controlled? Yeah, and we can say, we installed the hub up in our media room and that's where the alert emanates from, by the way, and we'll, we'll show you what that sounds like as well. But we can say when it triggers next, we can go in and like we have lights in the kitchen, the cabinet lights, so we can add those. So we can set those to 100% in red. So that way they'll like turn red, done. And then I think if we even wanted to get a little crazier with it, come down here and say convert to shortcut. And so we've got set cabinet. And we could say control. Oops, let's uh, put a weight in here. Wait five seconds. Move this one up and we could say control cabinet next and just turn it off done and we could wait another five seconds is there a repeat or a loop i think there is in shortcuts so we could we could probably optimize this thing um but just to kind of give you an idea of what you can do. And this is, uh, this is pretty basic, but we have even more lights that we could change colors and cause them to flash. Uh, so we'll do red 100%, done. And I think what I would probably do is like, I don't know if we could set a scene to like set them all to on 100% and then like then start flashing from there. but. You can see like we can set, so whenever the, the media room home alarm triggers, we can run this particular shortcut. So, and we'll show you what that looks like. Yeah, so I think for me, I'm very happy with it. Like we have been using it now that we're the pandemic, I feel like we're, there's light at the end of the tunnel with this pandemic uh, as some of us in the house have been vaccinated fully vaccinated. We have been leaving the house more and it's been nice to have that peace of mind. You know, we put the dogs away somewhere where there's no motion sensor, but then we have like all the doors are, have triggers on them or devices for triggering on them. And then we have motion sensor in a few spots. So when we leave and I set the away mode, it's, it's really kind of nice to know that I don't, I'll get alerted if someone were to try to come into the house. So. And, you know, given the price point, we did pick up a lot of this around uh, an early Black Friday sale. I thought the price point was good. One thing I would say that is a bit of a downside is that you do have to pay 
I think it's like five bucks a month in order to get home kit compatibility essentially. So you have to pay for the monitoring service and then it, it becomes available to HomeKit. And it's really easy to set up in HomeKit, but that, that is a bit of a downside to me. But at the same time, like we had the Acara security system. We didn't really like it all that much. So, uh, and one thing my wife wanted when we moved to our new house, she said, you know, hey, I want something that does have some remote monitoring to it. So we went ahead and, and got the abode security system. Um, and I, I do think I'm happy with it. You know, to me, it's probably like an A minus on the grade level, uh, just because it was a little pricier to get into the kit. I think we spent somewhere around $350 with everything that we had. We did like, once we got everything kind of situated in the house, we did have to add a few more items uh, on that we've ordered and we'll be putting into place. But as far as like everything goes, it's all been functional. You know, the, the door and window sensors, they show open or closed. Uh, the motion sensors seem to trigger. I will say it is a little bit slower uh, than if, you know, when we use Zigbee. So like when the Acara sensors show a door open or close, those show up in HomeKit super fast. Uh, there is a couple second delay with the uh, stuff that, that's in the Abode ecosystem that's being exposed to Apple. So I don't know what's causing that, but uh, there is, just know there is a slight delay. So if you're looking for like instantaneous reaction for something, you might not want, you know, something that is coming from a boat, like a motion sensor, you're, you're just not going to get the same kind of reaction times to it that you do with other products. So something to be aware of for sure. I think that to me, this is, this is definitely worth purchasing if you're in the market for a security system. Again, we've been super happy with it so far and uh, you know, we've lived it with it for a, a week and a half now and it, it's, it's been great. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll try to answer those whenever they, they do pop up. I want to say thank you for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that thumbs up for this particular video. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified about new videos that come out every week. Uh, and you know, this is coming out on a Saturday. Uh, if you're around on Tuesdays, if you do subscribe, we also do a podcast HomeKit five that, uh, Brayden and I talk about all the HomeKit news of the week. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.